Hello everybody, it's SD Mad Haven here today, and I kind of just want to, you know, pull out the concept one being. This is a reward from the season pass. It is level 75 requirement. Once you get that, if you have the season pass, you'll get the tank for free and up in your side of your garage in the tier 9 slot. So far, I've put in a couple matches inside the concept 1B, and I'm very impressed with how this thing holds up inside the matchmaking. So, as my brain decides to fart, and we're going to be taking guesses on uh, what keys I got to hit to try and switch you guys over to me, you know, easy, simple guess. You, you guys might be here, you might not. I've been screwing around with a lot of the key bindings to try and get things down, but just to start off, Concept 1B, some of the biggest advantages to this tank has got to be that standard shell velocity of 1,478 and 258 base penetration along with 400 damage. Like, overall, absolutely insane, super good, and now I'm questioning ads. <laughs> Top speed of 45, reverse speed of 18, it holds up extremely well. Whatever comes down to getting in positions, reversing at 18, you're going to be able to get in and out of positions extremely fast. Now, console, I do not know if our power to weight has changed at all, but it holds up well. Now, whenever you start to load the heat, which is premium rounds... You actually go from 258 all the way up to 310 penetration, but your shell velocity does drop down to 1173 from 1478. So, a, a pretty good drop. Along with that, we have 400 view range, 10 degrees of gun depression, as I'm trying to find the gun depression here. So, mobility, weaponry, okay, weaponry. Uh, gun dispersion, we're not going to look at that. Uh, I know you got 10 degrees. Oh, dear God. You know what? I found a way to do this. All right, we're going to go live. Here we go. All right, so all the way up, 20 degrees of elevation, 10 degrees of gun depression. Found it. We're good. So whenever you max out your gun depression at 10 degrees, this tank is just absolutely bonkers. Like, look at it. It's a monstrosity. You know, there's almost nothing to shoot at. And if they're trying to shoot you from the side from a distance, they're going to struggle unless they're loading... I don't know, let's say heat. Oh, it's still red. Never mind. Okay, that's 310, not 340 though. But, you know, good side scraper. It can be used for side scraping. This is not your typical heavy brawler. This tank is more focused on the thickness of the armor and just angles. It, You know, going in a head-to-head -head fight, this is not going to be a tank that you're going to be wanting to, you know, try and brawl. This is more of a tank you're just going to want to Try your best to hit a ridge line, maintain that ridge line, and do as much as you can. Now, let's go ahead, jump inside some matches here. You know, Concept 1B, give this thing a nice good run. Need to turn down my TV, I don't realize it's pretty loud. Okay, there, it's at 3. Yeah, 3. Uh, I'm also out of my liquid cocaine. I just picked up my can and it's it's empty. I'm just going to set it back down and be sad. All right, so Cliff. Cliff is a map. I, I don't mind this map. There's a lot of strong positions. Um, if you can manage to get to the hill in time and get up that hill, the gun depression up there inside the Concept 1B is probably going to be absolutely insane. But we're up against 10s. This is tier 10, heavily tier 10. I mean, there's only... Four tier nines per team so let, let's go see if we can be an overachiever with our 20 standards 16 premiums and four high explosives now i did have a little bit of a problem yesterday i did do a live stream talking about the advanced reload mechanic that they added as equipment and i honestly don't know how i feel about that piece of equipment but you know if you guys want to run it go run it it's absolutely ridiculous, but if you want to run it, go run it. It's, I, I've been running it, I'm not going to lie, and I've been enjoying it a lot. But we're not talking about that. We, we're in the Concept 1B. So, looking at this thing, oh my gosh, it's a monstrosity. Just look at it. Absolutely hideous. Just kidding, it's kind of growing on me. Um, That's a Conqueror. And that's light tank. All right, cool. So 
Thinking about hitting the hill on the left side, but rather than that, we're just going to come up into the dip here because we got some bushes. We are running a partial concealed crew, which, as we saw, just got spotted like it was nothing. And bounce 297, probably from the Conqueror. He's possibly not upgraded, or it's this E75 that's not upgraded. And not off to a good start, missing two rounds. So we're going to have to work on that just a little bit. Expose your lower plate again. That's so nice of you. Oh, wiggle your gun. All right. You want to wiggle your gun. You seem like you know how to play your E75, but you're stock. Well, not exactly stock. If you have stock, you'd be going through the turret like there was no tomorrow. Oh, Jesus, Centurion. This isn't helping. All right, well, coming up. Really not off to a good start today. Look at him just wiggling. Let's just put a 370 into that. Okay, now, now we're starting to catch some traction. This should be better. Except for that Centurion that's off to our left. He's just catching us each time we pull out. So, I think it, we would have been better heading up top. I, I lost quite a few hit points right there in that little bit of a battle. So, we'll, we'll see what we can pull out, if there's anything we can really pull out. But, knowing what's going on, we can probably swap back over to the APCR standards. As we see the Centurion coming up the hill. The 7-1. And E75 has fired... So, using our 10 degrees of gun depression, put a shot and miss. Yeah, not off to a good start. Would be a lot better if we could actually land these shells without really rushing them. And it looks like artillery came over and assisted. Maybe not. It's kind of hard to tell without the uh, tanks. And giving him a really nasty angle, giving him a chance to go through, and he just completely whiffed it. Ooh, artillery! You could hear that shell from a mile away. And we are in a lot of trouble. Getting slapped around just a little bit. Still, we're not out of this fight yet. We're still in it. Still nice and decently healthy until artillery hits us. Oh, man. All right. Conqueror gun carriage with the accuracy of a leopard. That, that felt absolutely wrong. And it just hurt so much. Well, then again, that's, that's also what we get for staying out in the open. It was Cliff. Not exactly the greatest of maps to be ending up on, but... Showing off a little bit, we did 1,179 along with that. We did 1,000 spot assists. So honestly, it wasn't too bad. We struggled right off the bat. This is the first game of the day as well. So, Concept 1B so far. I, I am impressed with the tank. It holds up extremely well inside the matchmaking. And just to bring you guys back over with me, just to give you an idea on what this tank is all about. So... At the right angle, earlier uh, yesterday, I was having a blast against uh, a couple of guys. And what happened was, the Concept 1B was barely poking around the corner, and I'm inside my Tier 8 loading premiums. And I'm sitting there wondering, why am I not pinning this guy? His, his drive wheel's partially exposed, his lower plate's out, but then I went over to the armor viewer and I realized, you know, that may only be 130 on both plates, but you know what? Whenever that thing's coming around a corner at just the right angle, it is extremely effective armor. Not just that, the side armor. Uh, there is a little bit of a weak spot right in the front here. You'll you'll see it whenever you're aiming at it. it just pokes out just a tad bit. It's nice and rounded. It reminds me of the Panzer Seven weak spot, but you know, overall, it's a solid tank. And once you guys get it and you grind it out and get your hands on it, just have an absolute blast with it. It is extremely worth it. And just every single second I'm in it, I just have fun. 
Now, jumping back over to the gameplay here. Ooh, ouch. Badger just took a 788. And that was from... Definitely not the Super Conk. Possibly the E100 or maybe even the 268 version 5. And it's kind of hard to tell who died. So we got Sod Demon. And uh, nope, we're, we're not going to see anything. But defeat. Oh, absolute defeat. So we did lose credits. We were kind of throwing out the heat rounds like there was no tomorrow. And somehow still took third on the team with the third highest experience. If we would have had like two more penetrations, we might have taken first in our team. And at the same time, there could have been an, a couple more positions we could have gone to that could have benefited more. But being exposed to artillery really just limits it. Could have went far left around the mountain, but taking the center, you know, you always need people to hit up areas all over the map. You don't, you, you do not ever want to leave a flank vulnerable. It's just not a good idea. Ooh, El Haloof. All right, here we go. This is not YouTube standard. And going to be cutting off left. Definitely got to take that top section. So, again, against tens. So that's how the matchmaking has been the past couple of days. You know, if you're playing a nine, you're always versing tens. I rarely see nines getting in top tier games. Even whenever I pull out my eights, I'm against tens. Occasionally top tier, if I'm lucky. Well, seeing that we're on El Haloof and we're inside the Concept 1B, this should be an extremely good match. At least we're hoping for one. Now, taking a look at the enemy team, we got a T-1105, Machine, Chisel, AMX, 50B, ooh, two Tusks, T-92, uh, WZ-111-14. All right. Uh, so far, not the craziest heavy armor that you'd run into, but definitely up there. Ooh, crap, made a mistake already. What's the artillery? Oh, T-92. It's a nuke and a GW Tiger. And sometimes auto drive will get you killed. So be careful, guys. Be careful, all of you. Seriously, auto drive is just not your friend. And first shot on El Huluf. That was a really good first shot. Right off the bat, straight into a tusk. You gotta love the 1400 travel speed that these APCR rounds have. And we are getting pushed by an M46 Patton that rammed us right before we fired. Which, then again, I think our aiming was off anyways. We probably would have missed. But so far, we're off to a good start. M103. That's a good tank to compare to this. Ooh, turret popped off. What was that? That was the OE5. Okay, that is not good. Well, actually, he's probably helping us get cover. And shut down the machine. Machine is out of the match. So we still have to deal with the WZ down low, and along with that, there's a T30 and an M103 up top. Um, still haven't pulled out far enough to see what's on that right side, but seeing a chisel, let's go ahead and give this side armor... Nice, good test here. Actually, with the OE5 being turretless right here, we could probably pull out and just go a little nuts. Protecting our hull armor, and then the way that the turret's put together, if we have to, we can angle this. And, oh, there I go. Not paying attention to my side, and getting absolutely shredded. Hit by the T-30, hit by artillery, and then instantly knocked out of the match. All right, well, could have turned out better, but hey, <laughs> it's how the matchmaking's going. It's all about that RNG. You guys gotta watch me play live and see some of uh, some of my greatest Unicum gameplay you've ever seen in your life. Well, ah, kind of can't click. Why? Ah, oh, 
This sucks. You can go to customize though. You know, armor viewer. Definitely the way that this is set up. There's only a couple positions on this tank that can be overmatched. And right there, 120 side armor just down low. Along with that, the side skirts there, you're looking at 150. Jumping over, it's still trying to find them. Okay, so 70. 70 millimeters cannot be overmatched by any gun in the game. So, your side armor on this is extremely good. Your little viewport in the front, you got 90, 80, and then gone. Your gun is 50 millimeter sticks, which means you can block 120 millimeter shells with this gun if you decide to try and brawl. So keep that in mind, you are risking breaking your gun, but with reusable compare kits, are you kidding me? I'm totally down to break guns now. <laughs> Get, give me a minute, I'll be back inside the match. There is one thing that I can say that I absolutely love about what they have done with this update, and that has got to be the fact that right here, we see 25.4. We actually see the point now. Beforehand, we never saw the point. So, until next guy, next <laughs> next time, you guys have a great night, wonderful morning, or whenever you're catching this video. And I'll see you on the next one. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I try my best to, you know, hit your guys' comments up as much as I can. I, I'm pretty sure my regulars already know this, but, you know, with, with the way the 6.0 is, I, I've been getting a lot of feedback from people saying that you can't do reviews with what's going on right now. And it's like, are you kidding me? It's it's like, it doesn't change the fact that we have tanks GG and that we can jump on there and look at the statistics from there. Sure, console may vary, but as you can tell, 45 top speed is still 45 top speed on console. So we won't compare reloads. We won't compare gun dispersion values or anything, you know, super specific, but gun depression, top speed, power to weights, not on console. And sometimes we do get debuff power to weights. But so far, Concept 1B, whenever you guys get it out of the Season Pass, I seriously hope you did not pay or do not pay for this tank. I didn't pay for it, I grinded it out, and I've been having a blast since I grinded it out. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful time, and I'm going to try to learn how to stop stuttering whenever I'm talking. So, I'm out of here, see you all in the next video, or in the next live stream.